Jeremy Holmstead and welcome to my channel. In this video, we're looking at an email from Jeanette Knobs. It's from March 8th of this year. That's how far back I am with my emails. If I haven't responded to your email, uh, it's because I'm all the way back in March 8th. So just, just be patient. I'm doing the best that I can. Um, my goal is to respond to every email. So I, I'm working on it. I promise you I'm working on it. Okay, so this is what she says. I was looking at your spreadsheet on words and terms used. Today I was thinking about some terms that I don't feel have that I've heard from our leaders speak about hardly since President Benson. Uh, the words are, and uh, I'm going to have to be careful because I don't want you know to get in trouble with the you know the uh, the platform. So the first phrase is men. Then the second one is secret combinations, and the third one is preparedness. When President Benson was around, there was lots of words about this. Now I feel that the leaders hardly say anything, and in the Book Mormon, we are constantly being warned about them. The quote-unquote Gadiant robbers, which took down the Nephite societies, uh, we are told, okay, wait, we, we were told, warned, in the Book of Mormon, and the only real mention about them was President Benson. Now hardly a word is ever mentioned, I felt. I could be wrong, but I haven't really heard much for many years about these things. I miss President Benson's talks about these things and don't feel we are being warned like we were. Maybe it's too late now, so, uh, so we're not being warned anymore. I just wonder about these words on the graph that you did. Thank you. You have an interesting site. I enjoy and share it with others. Well, thank you, Jeanette. And uh, yeah, uh, that piqued my my interest. And so I decided to go ahead and find out. Um, and I'll, I'll show you uh, what I found. So let's head over to the spreadsheet. So I actually added a couple things. So we have preparedness, and then we have men. Uh, secret combinations, Gadiatin, I mean, you know, Gadiatin robbers, but I just searched for Gadiatin, and then, okay, so that's what we're going to look at. So we're just going to look out at all of them um, at the same time. So we have our first men uh, in 1944. Okay, let's go up. Okay, a few more times in the 40s, have our first preparedness in the 50s. Okay, this uh, second column right here, men, uh, is the most active so far. And then we have secret combinations that comes up for the first time in 1957. And then that happens in that same year, 1957. And still nothing for Gadiant robbers. Okay, now we're in the 60s and men uh, gets a lot darker. Uh, we have... It's mentioned three times uh, for three years. So three times in a year for three years, 65, 67, and 68. Now look over here though, look at column H. Uh, this one, uh, it doesn't get into the, into the dark red, but it starts to get mentioned every single year, starting in 61. And, you know, hmm. <laughs> I'm trying to think how to um, how to word things. Uh, remember, there was that one leader that uh, someone didn't like uh, in the '60s, and then he uh, something happened to him in Texas. Um, I don't I don't remember what <clears throat> what year that was. Um, let's, let's just take a look. When was? Uh, uh, 1963, 1963, and after that year, look how it gets darker for uh, the men that are engaged in, in secret combinations. So that's kind of interesting, isn't it? Okay, let's keep looking. Okay, preparedness. Preparedness goes off the charts from 74 until 81. Well, I guess until 82. Every single year it's mentioned from 74 to 82. 
and it's really dark between 75 and 81 with a peak in 1978. Um, no, notice down here how um, men and uh, they both died down at the same time in uh, pretty much in 69 and 70. So you, <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. So that, that's interesting considering what we were just looking at just a minute ago. Okay, let's continue. Uh, Gaddy Atten, Robbers make their first appearance in 1975, and then a couple more times, 79 and 80. Um, now look over in the very far left column. Uh, th this is the, the presidents of the church and approximately when they were president of the church. So during President Kimball's time, that's when preparedness was all the talk. Um, David O. McKay, it seemed like during his time, there was a lot of talk about uh, these things right here. Column E and column H, uh, the C words. And then President Benson. Um, there's not as much as you would maybe think, right? Because you go back here and it's there's kind of more during David O. McKay's time. Um, but I guess the next biggest time for talking about these different things would be during President Benson's time. And of course, this does this is only general conference, so it doesn't include uh, talks that he gave at BYU or other addresses that he gave. But you can see that it kind of calms down for a little bit during uh, President Lee and President Kimball's time, and then it picks back up with President Benson. All right, uh, Howard W. Hunter, not a whole lot, but he was only um, president for about a year. Okay, now we're in uh, President Hinckley's time, and you might say it kind of picks up again with President Hinckley, um, especially after 2001, uh, which is also interesting. So you have, um, yeah, yeah, you have some stuff going on here after 2001. Uh, we all know it happened at that time, and then a lot of a lot of preparedness. Uh, well, not like a lot of preparedness, but it's almost mentioned every year, with the exception of just like four years. Okay, let's look at President Monson. Now, these columns over here with President Monson and President Nelson basically just die down. There's a lot of white space. The last time we hear this word uh, is back in 1999. So we haven't even heard it this century yet or this millennium. Uh, we do hear this right here, <laughs> men. And, but the last time that we hear that, well, it was, it was brought up in 2021. And I can tell you that it was uh, David A. Bednar that said it last year, but you have to go back all the way to 2010 before you hear that again. So it does. And then only one time. Well, no. Okay. So for secret combinations, one time in 2017, and then you have to go back to 2005. So and then uh, preparedness kind of makes a rebound a little bit. It's a little bit more scattered, but it kind of does, um, starting in 2012. So I guess like the main clustering for preparedness would be, the biggest one would be in the 70s and early 80s. After that, another little one in the early eight or the late 80s. And then the 2000s and then right now maybe from like uh 2014 until currently sort of those are like the three main times when those uh when those are higher frequency okay so yeah um talk about this uh subject matter right here kind of dies off i guess you could say it kind of dies off mm maybe about 2007 or 2008 i would say before that it's you know it's somewhat frequent uh it's really f frequent during david o mckay in the 60s 
So um, going back to her email, uh, what was it that she said? Let's see. I miss President Benson's talks about these things and don't feel we are being warned like we were. Maybe it's too late now. And, you know, if I had to guess, I think I would probably go with that. Yeah, it's probably too late. Um, you know, I, I don't know how much anyone could have done uh, about it. Uh, maybe people that are, in, you know, members of the church that are engaged in uh, politics and are in office, but <clears throat> there there is a benefit to having the general membership and even just the world aware of these things because the more people that are aware of them, the harder it is for them to to pull, you know, tricks on us, right? So, uh, so yeah, I think that time is kind of it's past. Um. I'm not sure how much we really could have done about it anyway. It's something that, you know, I'm sure there's a lot of you that have looked into these things. Uh, there was a time in the not too distant past where you could learn a lot about it on YouTube, but it seems like maybe in somewhere between 2017 to 2019, they really started to clamp down on it uh, to where people couldn't really discuss those things anymore. That's why I'm being <laughs> careful right now with the words that I use. Um, it, it seems to me like as far as like learning about these things on social media, the golden age was kind of, I don't know, maybe 2014 to 2017. It seems like that's when it, it was pretty accessible, this kind of information, learning about it. And like I've said before, I, I've looked into all of it, every single topic that there is. If you, you know, there was someone in the comments that was like, well, have you looked into this? And I was like, yep, I've looked into that. I've looked into all of them. And I'm sure that a lot of you have too. Well, maybe not because every everyone has kind of a different tolerance for what they're willing to consider as reality, right? There's some things that people will just be like, nope, nope, that's not true. That's not true. And um, even if I feel that way, I still look because I don't know everything. I, I want to just like see, see what the arguments are. And, you know, um, I, I don't think it hurts to see why other people think the way that they do. Um, it doesn't mean that I'm going to be converted to their point of view. But anyway, uh, these days, if you want to learn about those things, you have to go to different places to do so. Uh, not so much here, um, but it, it, it's fascinating. Uh, one problem that I see with this when you learn about it is that you can get too wrapped up into it. And you, you can also give the enemy right? The secret combinations, more power in your mind than what they actually have. That That's my opinion. I see, I feel like I see way too many people uh, giving them, giving them so much credit and so much uh, ability uh, in their minds when I don't think that that's the case. I think that they, when they want to pull off certain things, they have to use a lot of trickery. Uh, they really have to do a lot of gymnastics to get things done because there is a real world and there are laws and things like that they can't they're not invincible if they were invincible and if they were so powerful like so many people think that they are uh, they wouldn't go to such incredible lengths to do things they would just do it but they can't they have to resort to trickery and um illusion and uh you know, just all, all the different tools that they have in their toolkit. So, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> we're, we're well into it now. I mean, they're, they've always been around, but in terms of like, I don't know, maybe U.S. history, it seems like they're maybe at the height of their power right now, from what I can tell. Uh, I might be wrong about that. I, I'm no historian on these things, but 
I just know that they've done a lot of things uh, within the last century or two. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, you really have to question certain things like World War One, and um, th there's a lot of very there's a lot of very suspicious things about it. I'll just say that. I'm not going to go into that too deep, but there's some people that that cover it pretty well. And it's like, what? what? What was it? What even? What? How did that even? Now, I, I know I know the explanation in, in the history books. I, I know what's taught in school. But there's, there's a lot of questions. There's a lot of uncomfortable questions around that. And so many other things. So many other things. We know that Satan, he does have power on Earth. He, he really does. And I think that he has more literal power um, than he does just like tempting people or influencing people. I think that, you know, otherwise Doctrine and Covenants wouldn't talk about how he can appear literally as an angel of light and that there's an actual way to test if you're actually talking to an angel or if you're talking to Satan or one of his followers by uh, sh sh trying to shake hands with them because they, they don't have a body. And that's one way that you can detect them. It says it in the Doctrine and Covenants. So the fact that uh, it talks about that in the, in the Doctrine and Covenants, in the Book of Mormon, we have accounts of, um, you know, angels of light or someone that appeared to be an angel of light tricking somebody who then became an antichrist figure and then went about the people uh, preaching antichrist doctrine, essentially. So... If it was possible back then, and if the Doctrine and Covenants warns us about it, I'm pretty sure that it happens. And they're they're going to go to the people that have power. They're they're going to help people rise to power. Um, they they know Satan and his followers. They know how to organize things. They they have they they don't have the you know uh, disadvantage that we do of having the veil over our minds. And when I say disadvantage, I mean in the sense of like things that we may have known back then that would have helped us get power or have advantage here in mortality. So they they have knowledge. They know how to organize people, show them how to win, so to speak, in this life. Um, and yeah, it seems that uh, President Benson was very aware of it. He was actually in government. Uh, I think he was, wasn't he like the Secretary of Agriculture or something like that? Let's see. President Benson, Secretary of Agriculture. Yeah, here it is. Ezra Taft Benson was Secretary of Agriculture under President Eisenhower from January 21st, 1953 to January 20th, 1961. Okay. So here I'll, I'll put this in the I'll put this in the description in case you want to come look at this. So he was in government and uh, I don't know, I guess even being just something as seemingly benign as Secretary of Agriculture, you rub shoulders uh, and elbows with people that <laughs> are engaged with this kind of thing. It, uh, I'm sure that it just it permeates probably most of our our government. Um, it's definitely it's definitely in Hollywood because you know inter you know quote unquote entertainment. It's a it's a great way to get into people's minds. It's a great way to take unsuspecting people that think that they're coming to watch something to be entertained and introduce concepts, ideas in a sneaky way. And then they're just like, oh, no, it's just entertainment. You're taking it too seriously. It's just a movie. Uh, it's just it's just music. You can't. Eh. Uh, no, it's not. It, it really is not. There's actually, there's somebody on the channel that was talking about this. I'll have to bring it up another time, I think. 
But no, you know what? I'm gonna, I think I'm going to try and find it. I'm going to try and find it. There was a guy. There's a guy that's been following the channel for a while. He's one of the earlier subscribers. Let's see. I think it was on this video. Let's see if I can find him really quick. Sorry, I can't remember everybody's names. There's just too many people. No, it wasn't this one. Maybe it was on this one. Secret Combinations, Strong Delusions, and the Antichrist. Bear with me. I didn't I didn't think to read his comment until now, so sorry that I'm not prepared, everybody. I'm sorry, Lord Byron Esquire. You know, Esquire, that's like a name, that's like a word nowadays that, that for some reason attorneys, uh, they, they have that title, Esquire. Uh, it's weird. I don't know how that works, but uh, I, I'm sorry. I, if, you, if, you, if you're if you an Esquire, then that's that's cool for you. Um, I personally think it's, it's silly, but that's just me. No, I don't, I, think, I don't think I'm going to be able to find it. I'm going to have to share it some other time. Gosh, I wish I knew his name because then I would just be able to look it up. Dang it. Anyway, he, he's a member of the church and he was talking about how he, he was involved, I think, in the film industry or maybe the music industry. And he saw some of that stuff. So, okay. Well, that's going to be it for this one. So, hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, like this video if you liked it. Uh, make sure to leave your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. Also, make sure to share this with anyone that would find this interesting. And I'll talk to you guys later.